A baptism of fire for the new season. Scarcely could they have faced a tougher opening day assignment. In the Stadio Sergio Lanfranchi bathed in. So Rossburn kicks off a fixture that pits the perennial basement dwellers against the eight-time champions. And almost all the opening five minutes have been played deep inside Zebra Parma territory. Deegan picks and goes blind. Chance for O'Reilly to power through. This is McGrath. Cut down by CC. Three metres out Leinster. Byrne had a shot. Rhys Roddick, the captain, shrugs a couple of sides. Another penalty infringement by Zebra Parma. And Luke McGrath snipes and scores. Uh, to, uh, to stop, basically. Um, the forwards do a lot of good work here, close in. And uh, McGrath sees the, sees the gap. In his 176th outing, as Ross Byrne bangs over a fairly simple conversion. Will it be third time lucky? as we approach the 20-minute mark. It's taken by Jenkins. Ruddock steamrolling all the way to the line. Irrepressible from Leinster's captain. And uh, Zebra set up to defend them all, which you would have expected to happen. And uh, very good, very good execution for Leinster. A pick and jam. Sucking in Zebra Parma defenders, squeezing towards the line, and they get it down this time. Try time, Leinster once more. Rounded the ball through a massive bodies with help from Ed yes. Byrne and Max Deegan. Is that just sheer power? Yeah. Set! The pack down on the blind side flank. Look at Andriani has gone into second row. Quick ball for Eden, out the back, it's beautifully worked, and Enrico Lokin can release the debutants. Richard Creel pounces. It's very impressive. Yeah, beautifully disguised ball to Bruno. The Leinster defenders expecting the more imposing figure of Eric Cronier to do the Can Zipper Palmer conjure something else from first phase? Vitor releases it to Cook. At the back to Eden. This is interesting. It works for Bruno. Knocks it over the top of O'Reilly. They're chasing hard and Bruno's gathered. That is sensational. Chasing the end. Lovely, lovely, lovely score. It's not often you see two kicks in the lead up to a try. Another start warning from Ben Blaine. There could be more yellow cards to come. Deegan with the tap and go. Leinster with Zebra Parma blood in their nostrils. There's the bonus points. And it's the South African juggernaut, Jason Jenkins. Meters from the Zebra Zebra line. So, as I said, very well drilled side. And, and the, the Leinster players are really showing a, a lot of quality. They have the penalty up their sleeve. Cook releases his backs. Lukin. Eden out the back, Creel taps it on, he had to do that, and he's found Simone Jesse for the corner, what a finish! <laughs> Stunning from Simone Jesse! Has done very well since he got involved, the um, middle of last year, he's, he's been lethal on the wing, and he's a fantastic uh, turn of speed and great confidence, that's a great score. Yeah, Richard Creel had little option but to bat the ball on to Jesse, the Italian winger took it, ran with it, scored it. It's a lethal finish. Just a bit tight, mate. Just it's a bit they're tight trying to eight line. games for Zebra Parma. Working beautifully in harmony. Down the touchline goes Adriani. Stepping inside into the 22. Cook. Now an opportunity to fling that ball out. And smashing through goes Peltzer. What a score. MJ Peltzer. You know, this is exciting stuff now. Andriani does very well down, down the wing and, and sets up a, a quick ball and then we, we talked about the Leinster quick ball and now um, uh, Robbie Parma are, uh, are getting some, uh, 
Uh, Zebra Palmer, sorry, are getting some quick ball and uh, producing that's a, that's a lovely track. I mentioned before MG Peltzer had, had run at centre for the Lions age grade teams in the Junior Curry Cup in South Africa. He is rapid. Zebra Palmer repel the latest charge. For how much longer can they hold out? They've conceded another penalty. Ruddock for the hat trick. Inches, that's the how close Leinster are. Natai, burn. Frawley flings it wide, and Dave Carney will scurry in at the corner. Uh, play down in uh, Leinster, half not 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 stuck here in their 22. So well done, Leinster. Good execution, good patience. Forwards did a lot of good work there, and uh, nice pre preset uh, exit from uh, that type of uh, position. Good play, Leinster. Very experienced forward axis. BG gets in on the act again. Just over 10 minutes of the match remaining. Lukin Smith Jr. pierces through and scores! Wow! Andrew McMenemy will come in if there's anything clear and obvious. Let's have a look. Doesn't seem to be anything in that phase. No, not, not for me, that's, that's top class, fastball at the breakdown, unless there was something before the previous breakdown, but uh, there's nothing untoward in, in, in those last three passes, plus the line-out. So that's the key in, in, in that scrum. The key's throw, oh, Zebra Palmer have it back, Pichinari, but he forced the offload. They just need a clean strike, and the ball at Max Deegan's feet. McCarthy has it. And into touch they go, and a huge, monumental sigh of relief is breathed all around the Leinster province, because make no mistake, Zebra Parma have given the mightiest team in the championship